Robert Moody with Marine Max at the Dallas Yacht Center. Today I want to show you a used, this is a Marine Max owned boat. It's a used boat. It's a 2016 Meridian 441 sedan bridge with the full fiberglass hardtop on it. Uh, awesome boat. Just took it on trade. This is a one owner boat. We sold it new here in Dallas. It's been in a fresh water and a covered slip uh, the whole time. Uh, now it's available for the next owner of it. Uh, what the previous owner loved about this boat, and what we do too, is the fiberglass hardtop, but it has two massive air conditioners uh, up here on the flybridge. So even though it's August in Texas, it's 100 degrees outside, we're comfortable up here in the flybridge with all the canvas still zipped on. Um, there's only 105 hours on these diesel engines. This does have the pod drives, Zeus pod drives, the Cummins engines on them. Only 105 hours on the engines. The oil's been changed. The lower units or the pods have been oil changed. Everything's service ready to go. Uh, about 215 hours on the generator. Um, I really like how easy it is to operate the boat. Um, great looking dash with the GPS on there. All digital screens if you want. But also I like they still got the analog gauges uh, on the side. So really quickly you can see you know anything going on with the engines. Um, it's real smooth. This is DTS, so it's digital throttle shifting on it, so it's super smooth and easy to drive the boat. When it's time to park the boat, you're going to be using the joystick. Spin it sideways, walk it sideways, spin it as you're going sideways, back it in the slip, adjust as you go. But also with Zeus, a cool thing is yeah, you're going to get the sky hook, and you're also going to get auto heading. So if you're making a long run, you still want to sit here driving it, going in a straight line, hit that auto heading button. And whatever degree on the compass you're heading, it's going to hold it there and keep you. So a uh, great feature. All my customers love it on the boat. So really clean, easy dash. Uh, very comfortable with this uh, captain's chair. And I feel air conditioners blowing on me all over the place. Another thing customers like about it is the companion seat right next to the helm. So there's at least three or four people wide up here with you as you're cruising, go into your favorite cove or where you like to hang out. Anybody gets hungry or thirsty, they put a sink up top. We got a Kenya electric grill up top. Cup holders are everywhere on this boat. Also, here's some, some more AC vents that's blowing all over the place. The back end is nothing but room and seating. Huge table, great for entertaining up here on the flybridge. Over on the starboard side, we're going to have a TV and a fridge. So everything you need to hang up, hang out up here in the shade, in the air conditioner, watching the kids and everybody else swim. Moving down from the flybridge to the cockpit, first of all, a nice door. Safety if you got little kids. Nobody's going to accidentally step down the stairs when you're underway, but also it traps all this cold air up here. But this isn't a ladder. These are stairs. So look how easy it is. Handrails, both sides anybody to walk up and down from this beautiful teak cockpit and the swim platform and more seating back up here but smooth and easy up to the flybridge. Now maybe you're carrying a tray of hamburgers or getting a grill or some steaks or chicken you know without having to hold on to anything. Wow look how easy that is just to walk up and down. I really love that about the boat. This boat did not come from the factory with the teak on it but the customer that bought it loves to look at the teak and Holly, so uh, we ordered it from the factory and we had it, he wanted it installed, so we added it to him. Same thing getting to the swim platform. Uh, you know, it's really easy steps uh, for anybody, any age, young or old. Go jump in the lake, cool off, ladder in the back, storage in the back. They added some speakers back here too, so when you're swimming, you still got your music going on. Following the same deal, even going up to the bow, really wide walkways. So it's real easy for anybody. Look at this back glass door. So a sliding door to get into the salon from the cockpit. Um, you're just going through a sliding glass door. And this is a nice upgraded door, something you'd see like on an L-Class uh, C-Ray. Um, easy to slide, open up. What I like about it too is maybe on a cool day, you just want to have a screen door. It's got a built-in screen door that retracts so you never see it but the screen door is always there ready to go. Really beautiful salon. So you got the seating, L-shaped seat on the side. That is an option. Uh, they got it, so it pulls out and makes into a bed, which is really nice. 
They have a uh, table that can be up as a uh, cocktail table or down low to eat and dine on. Uh, also two individual seats uh, on the side, entertainment stereo system, TV, Bose surround sound. The thing is set up to entertain. Big windows. Everybody, they don't want to feel like they came into a cabin of a boat, so with the windows, a lot of natural light coming in. Of course, they all have blinds on them, so uh, in the afternoon, you can close the blinds and keep that sun off of you. There is an ice maker down below, bar, storage cabinets everywhere. Really nice. I like where they put the control panel, too. So really easy to get to it. Turn your ignition keys on, turn your batteries on, start the generator. Really easy and convenient. Look at the size of this galley. Most boats have a tiny little counter and a short little refrigerator, but in this boat, you have four burners. You got two sinks down below, deep sinks, and storage in here is unreal. Um, even a little lazy Susan back there. This boat is made to entertain, bring all your family and friends. You got a semi full size refrigerator, a freezer on the top, or refrigerator down below. Um, not only do you have plenty of room and space and counter space to cook for everybody, look at the dining that you have over on the starboard side. Without a lower helm station, it really allows us to have a huge dining area. So not only can you put you know, four or six people in this dinette area, there's some people that can go back on the sofa uh, in the salon, and then also the two lounge chairs to the port side. We're now in the Ford stateroom. It is a centerline bed, a good sized bed, easy to get onto and off from either side. Good storage on it. Closets on both sides, cedar line closets, really nice. And also access to a head and shower. So this is a private head. It's got a separate shower stall. Some people would take this one as the master stateroom because it has a private head and a little bit nicer head with the private shower stall. Now I'm back in the aft stateroom. Um, I would probably take this as the master, although the Ford stateroom has maybe a little bit bigger head and a private head but the room that you have down here is incredible. Um, oversized bed in the back, tons of storage. Got a nice seat over here to sit and get dressed and get ready. Storage drawers everywhere. You also got a vanity that pulls out. And a stool, huge closet. Now from this aft stateroom, you do have access through a door directly into the day head. So this is the day head with a access door from the aft stateroom, but also there is a door um, in the companion way. So during the day, this is going to be the uh, head that your guests are going to use. So up here in the bow now, you see you've got two sun lounges up here, plenty of room for a lot of people to come out here and hang out. Uh, you can have a little dance party if you want to up here. Got some nice wet sound speakers, remote control spotlight, nice polished, pretty stainless steel anchor on it. Uh, really, really nice, um, extremely clean, pre-owned 2016 Meridian 441 Flybridge with the diesel engines in it. So uh, I'm Robert Moody with Marine Max at the Dallas Yacht Center. If you have any questions about this boat, please give us a call. Thank you.